Within the GraphQL data fetching environment, we can get access to the GraphQL selection set. And what the selection set actually contains is what the user has selected, what fields the user has selected in their query. So if I go ahead and play this, I say create bank account. You can see here, if I go into the environment and I say environment get selection set, you'll see it has two fields. So get fields. And within these fields, one's the ID and the other is the currency. So this matches, matches my query. So you can imagine if I need to make a request to a database to perform a select for these fields, we can optimize the select query by just requesting the fields that a user has requested. Also, if we need to make a web service call, potentially we need to specify what the web service, what we want the web service to return, we can pass them across. So in order to do that, what we can say is environment get selection set get fields, and then we can say map and selected field, we can get the name and let's collect that to an unmodifiable set. And here we'll call this requested fields. And now we have access to and the ability to make that optimized query. Another nice thing about the selection set is it has some nice utility methods. So what you can say is get the selection set and you can say contains any of. So you can imagine if you need to perform some operations, if the user requests A and B or a different set of operations, if they request A and C. Well, here you can use the contains, contains any of or contains all of patterns to make that choice on what you actually want to do with your data. Or maybe within a resolver, you need to perform an extra operation if one particular field is called. Well, then you could say if it contains a special field, do the special stuff here. So if I go ahead and just, if I bring up this here again, the debugger, and I say get selection set that contains ID. Of course, it's true. If it contains ID, yes, it's false contains any of ID, true, ID X, this is true. And then you can write contains all of, which is false. And then you could change this currency, which is true. So you can guys, you can go ahead and play with this and use it to optimize your queries. And I will see you in the next episode.